how to stream to zero viewers while not being awkward about it. Hi guys and welcome back to my stream. My name is Kat and if you guys are new here, I am a streaming advice streamer and a YouTuber and TikToker and I also stream a lot of Le uh, Valorant League of Legends and art so if you're into that definitely would love if you guys stuck around but I'm gonna be going into how to go and stream with zero viewers while not being awkward about it. Also in my personal opinion small streamers have it harder than big streamers especially if you have zero viewers. You guys have it the hardest and this is because big streamers are lazy. They can use chat for content. They can be like, oh right, throw some pogs in chat and chat goes crazy over it. And even Ludwig, a very big streamer, said so himself, right? Small streamers don't get the luxury of using chat for content. Small streamers have to come up with all of that themselves. So it is a lot more pressure on the streamer to make things entertaining and more interesting. Whereas big streamers have chat that they can go and rely on. But that being said, I'm giving a, I'm going to give a little bit of a disclaimer and then go into how to stream to zero viewers. So first off, if you have zero viewers, um, don't stream. Now, cat, what the heck are we talking about? Okay, but hear me out, right? Streaming to zero viewers gets you nothing. You get no ad revenue because it's zero viewers. It it doesn't TikTok or Twitch won't push you out because Twitch hates small accounts. I've almost never seen anybody on my recommended with less than 10 hours viewers. And I watch small streamers with like less than 10, but Twitch won't even recommend them to me because that's just how Twitch's algorithm works. You get nothing from streaming to zero viewers, but it kind of just wastes some time. So if you have zero viewers what i high key recommend is instead of streaming spend that time making content on other social media instead <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> but if you like to stream go for it still stream i still stream to zero viewers. well i mean my three afk friends aka zero viewers like zero og original viewers but it's really fun right but don't stream too often maybe like once a week at most all right Spend the rest of your time making content and throwing it up on other social media. Make content about being a gamer, make content about being a streamer, or content about thinking about starting to stream. Let people know, once you've built up a little bit of a following on that other account, that you are a Twitch streamer or you're trying to stream, and then plug your Twitch and then you'll get some followers on your Twitch. So then when you stream, you'll get a couple of viewers, one or two people. And that alone will make stream streaming way more easier for you as a streamer because now you have people in chat to talk to. All right, but so you have these zero viewers. So aside from that disclaimer, what do you do? All right, so number two, always keep talking in your stream and here are some things to overcome the awkwardness. And this sounds so counterintuitive because if you have no people, why should you talk, right? And it is in the off chance that somebody will stumble into your stream and if somebody stumbles into your stream and you're just sitting there playing games like quietly to yourself it's gonna be boring no one's gonna want to stick around to go watch you so they're gonna leave unless you are talking and you're having fun and you're enjoying the gameplay and the game then somebody might be willing to stick around because they see that you know something is going on and they see that they see your personality and they might like you and they might be willing to talk but no one really will join your stream and instantly type things in chat. They're going to lurk for a little bit. So you got to keep that banter up and keep talking so that people are willing to go and type something. It's hard to go and talk when no one's watching you. So first off, I recommend streaming with friends in a Discord call and playing games together. What I did when I started out was play League of Legends with my friends, so I would be, be bantering with my friends in call. So playing like multiplayer games that you can go and play in call with friends would make it more interesting. Also, secondly, if you're not calling your friends, narrate your gameplay and talk about what's going on in game. Another big thing that I noticed that people, when people do this, something that I do notice is that they'll sometimes mutter to themselves and be like, oh my god, like, okay, oh gosh, I can't believe this phoenix peaked this corner, oh my god, like, he's ulting off, like, I can't hear you. So if you're gonna narrate the gameplay, be very bold and loud about it so that people actually know what you're going on, what, what's going on. But a stream of consciousness is always very fun to have. So narrating the gameplay will definitely fill up the space. Also, if you do have some, you know, friend, disposable friends you can go use for chat, you can go ask your friends to go and talk to you in chat so that, well, I guess it breaks that you won't be at zero viewers anymore. But still, like using your friends to go and talk to talk in chat um, will give you some material to go and stream off of because now there will be banter between you and chat. Given it's still your friends, it's not an, a, like a separate random viewer that came through, but it still will add content to stream. 
Also, if you're a little bit slow in getting your stream set up, I recommend the starting soon screen. I use one myself because it takes me forever to get my stream set up. But having a starting soon screen will kind of take the pressure off a little bit of opening up stream and having everything together because I'm always a little bit awkward right when I start my stream because I'm like getting into the groove and getting things together. So that starting soon screen kind of like takes away from that because there'll be like a little a little screen or whatever and I can like get together and get my stuff together. And then I can start stream with everything like all. Uh, already like like guns blazing ready to go also make sure you have your alerts prepared so if somebody follows you can actually thank them for it um that is always like a really frustrating thing sometimes when people's alerts aren't set up so that like when you drop a follow they don't even notice you and it's kind of just like no i didn't get noticed satch um third also it helps you practice what you say so that you aren't kind of like bumbling around a little bit when something happens and you're like oh i, I don't know thank you thank you um I, I kind of i kind of have a couple of prepared lines when things happen so if somebody follows me i, I but it's been prepared like it's been the same thing because i've been streaming for so long i basically ended up saying the same thing over and over again but basically like when somebody follows i'm like oh hi like x username thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream how was your day right already have like an open-ended question prepared so that when somebody does talk or whatever you can go and get the conversation going so a couple of good things to go ask or talk about are how was your day um do you play X game if you're streaming a game? Who do you main in this game? Oh, do you play rank? Like, what's your rank in this game? Um, how did you find my stream? Or, I love your username. Where did you come up with that? Some, those are some great open-ended questions that will help drive the conversation with whomever comes into your stream. Too many streamers that I know will, or that I've seen, sorry, will just say hi and that's it, right? You're literally ending the combo right there. I'm sure people, you guys have had experience where you're texting somebody and somebody's just a really, really, really dry texter and they're texting in like one line that you're, you send them a whole paragraph and they send you K and that's it and you can't respond to that anymore. That is the same thing if all you do is say hi, the viewer kind of struggles to respond to that because you're not giving them that much information. And if you're a little bit awkward with like talking and stuff like that, having these prepared lines will help so much. Also, an engaging title that asks a question. It helps it if your title has a question, so that way, when somebody joins your stream, there is already something to go and talk about. I like to put, like, what is your favorite boba flavor? Um, did you get boba today? Something about boba, because I love boba. Um, what's your favorite food? Like, why is jasmine, oh, um, like, what's your favorite boba flavor, and why is it jasmine green milk tea, right? Like, when I put a title, or, like, a question in my title, people come in, and they already have an answer to the question, so that off the bat already starts the convo, so people come in, and be like, Thai tea, jasmine milk tea, some, some random will put, like, sesame milk tea and i'm dude why do you like sesame milk tea you are insane right but having that question in your title will definitely drive way more engagement and get people to want to go and talk in your chat so that will definitely help you you know get from that zero to the one viewer you know what i mean have fun commands i have one called exclamation mark shrimp that will rng you a pp size so those are that's always, always really fun and what like brain cells is one too um and people will like to come in and use those commands to go and figure out like okay what's my pp size what's my brain cell count you know um if you guys are interested i can do a video on how to set up these commands the the number generating ones because they're not too difficult to set up um or you know for gameplay related ones you can use like exclamation mark rank exclamation mark join what i see a lot of other streamers do is they will post a question like a meme or whatever in the title like i don't know how many wood chucks does it take to chuck wood and then exclamation mark answer. So people can come in and use that command and get the answer to the question you had in the title. And it again builds engagement and it makes people want to click on your video because now you have a question and they want to answer it. People love attention. So if they answer the question and you play into that, they love these things. Like I love it. So I don't know. I think other people like it too. Seventh, watch your VODs to see if you're boring. Can you watch your own VOD? Can you sit through and watch yourself? If you can't even watch yourself, uh, I hate to break it to you, man, but other people can't either. So watch your VODs and see if you are sitting there and not really talking, sitting in the dark, like playing your game. See if there's a lot of dead space. Watching your VODs will help you improve your stream so much by pinpointing quality issues and literally whether your content is boring. And so if you notice there's a lot of dead space in your stream, work on talking more in your stream. If you notice your stream gets a little bit boring, well, how can you make it more interesting? Maybe play, do a challenge on stream or, um, I don't know, like, play using only only a judge in valorant but something more interesting to spice things up so you're not just any other regular joe schmo playing valorant on twitch okay 
And lastly, number eight, hide your viewer count. No, you don't need to see when that zero becomes a one. No, you don't need to constantly check who is in your stream so you know who to talk to. No, and if somebody is in your stream lurking, don't call them out. These are all big, big, big things that a lot of like small streamers that just start streaming with a zero, one, two average viewer count will do. And no, you don't need to do any of these things. Hiding that viewer count will help you so much. You don't need to see how many people are in your stream because when you have that viewer count up, when you want to see, when, when basically, when you want to see when that zero becomes a one, this mentality implies that your stream is going to be boring until somebody joins. Because a lot of people have this mentality where they're like, oh, I, I, I want to I want to know when people join my stream so that I know when to be interesting. Well, that means your stream is not interesting and that you're faking being interesting. Like your stream should always be fun and entertaining so that at no matter what point somebody joins in, they're going to want to be there because of your because your stream is hype and because your stream is lit and it's interesting. So I hate the mentality when people are like, I just want to see when people are there so I can be different. I can I can start playing it up. I can be interesting. Your streams should be interesting regarding regardless of how many people are in your stream. And again, don't think about the numbers. When somebody joins your stream, if they want to talk, they will talk. Don't call out the lurkers. If you call out lurkers, you're going to drive them away. When I'm lurking, I don't like to be called out. I just like to sit there and watch the streamer to see if I like you or not. And then if I like you, I will talk. But before then, I will just lurk. So if you call, people will lurk for their own reasons. But a lot of times also it's because people are shy and they don't want to talk. So please don't make them uncomfortable by calling them out and putting a spotlight on them when they don't want a spotlight. But yeah, hopefully this was very helpful. I know streaming to zero viewers is really, really frustrating. It's difficult. It's hard. It's hard to stream to nobody. I know because I was there too. I was that Joe Schmo streaming League of Legends to no one. And hopefully these tips help you be less awkward when you're streaming to zero viewers. And, you know, to help you get that that zero up to like a one, two, three for affiliates and even more after that. But if this video helped you, I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you really liked me, please check me out on Twitch because I also stream art and League of Legends and Valorant and I'm a full-time Twitch streamer. But again, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.